Here's what's really happening inside your body after 40 that makes traditional weight loss approaches less effective. Your testosterone levels are declining at 1-2% to per year, your muscle mass is shrinking by 3-8% to per decade, and your metabolism is naturally slowing down. Sometimes weight loss advice completely ignores these age-related changes. That's why the same strategies that worked in your 20s leave you stuck on a plateau now. I'm Adrian, I've been a family physician for 17 plus years and I help people feel and perform better and live longer using simple science-backed habits that fit into busy lives. Let me show you the three myths keeping you trapped and the science-backed solutions that actually work for your changing physiology. But first, we need to talk about why your current approach to exercise might be working against you. Some men over 40 unknowingly create a hormonal environment that makes fat loss unnecessarily difficult. And it happens when they rely too heavily on one type of exercise while neglecting what their body actually needs. The endless cardio myth took hold because it makes perfect sense on the surface. Burn more calories, lose more fat, right? The fitness industry reinforced this for decades. Magazines show lean models on treadmills. Gyms filled with rows of cardio machines. Everyone believed more was better when it came to burning calories. Here's what actually happens during prolonged cardio sessions. Every time you do extended, moderate to high intensity cardio, you naturally spike your cortisol levels. This isn't inherently bad. Cortisol is essential for energy regulation during exercise. But here's the critical part. If you're already dealing with high life stress, poor recovery, or inadequate nutrition, these cortisol spikes can compound your body's stress load. Let's break down what happens next when your stress system is already overwhelmed. Chronically elevated cortisol sends a clear message to your body. Preserve fat stores and break down muscle tissue for energy. Studies show that men under high stress who do excessive cardio can experience muscle breakdown that outpaces any muscle building efforts. Here's why this matters so much after 40, especially if you're juggling work pressure, family responsibilities and inadequate sleep. You're already losing muscle mass naturally as you age. Add high volume cardio on top of existing life stress and you can accelerate muscle loss. Each pound of muscle you lose reduces your daily calorie burn by about 50 calories. This creates what we call the skinny fat trap. You might lose weight on the scale, but you're actually ending up with a higher body fat percentage than when you started. Your metabolism is now slower than before, making it even harder to maintain your weight loss. But here's the key insight. It's not that cardio is bad, it's that balance matters, especially as we age. High intensity interval training, when done strategically, can be incredibly effective. Yes, HIT does spike cortisol temporarily, but it also triggers growth hormone and testosterone release. More importantly, a 20 minute HIT session provides cardiovascular benefits with less total stress load than an hour of steady state cardio. The secret is matching your exercise intensity to your current stress levels and recovery capacity. If you're highly stressed, HIT two to three times per week plus moderate walks may serve you better than daily high intensity cardio. If your stress is well managed and you're recovering properly, you can handle more intense training. Remember your body responds to total stress load, not just exercise stress. And this brings us to the nutrition piece that most men get wrong. There's a biological betrayal happening in your body right now. The same amount of protein that used to build muscle in your 20s is being largely ignored by your muscles today. Most men assume they're eating enough protein because they follow the same guidelines that worked when they were younger. You might be getting your usual chicken breast at lunch or protein shake after workouts, but your body isn't responding the way it used to. You're eating the same foods, but not seeing the muscle growth or recovery you expect. Here's what's really happening. Your muscles literally develop resistance to protein's muscle building signals as you age. Scientists call this anabolic resistance. Your muscle cells require a stronger protein signal to pay attention and start building muscle after 40. Let's break down the science in practical terms. Research shows that younger men can trigger muscle protein synthesis with just 20 grams of protein per meal, but men in their 70s show minimal muscle building response to that same 20 gram serving. When researchers doubled it to 40 grams, their muscles responded and started building again. The sweet spot for men over 40 appears to be around 30 to 40 grams per meal to overcome this resistance. Here's the shocking truth about standard protein recommendations. The RDA of 0.8 grams per kilo of body weight was never designed for men trying to maintain muscle while losing fat. It was created to prevent protein deficiency in average sedentary adults. 
that's a completely different goal to what you're trying to achieve. Research specifically targeting older adults recommends 1.2 to 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight daily. In quick note, if you're finding this helpful, I break down research like this every week in a free newsletter. Links in the description. So let me give you a concrete example. A 200 pound man following standard guidelines gets only 73 grams of protein daily, but he actually needs 110 to 145 grams to overcome anabolic resistance and support his training. That's nearly double what most nutrition labels tell you to eat. This protein deficit recreates a vicious cycle. Without adequate protein, you lose muscle during weight loss. Each pound of muscle you lose slows your metabolism even more. When life stress or intense training breaks down muscle tissue, you need extra protein to rebuild what you're losing. Here's the practical application. Aim for about 30 to 40 grams of high quality protein each meal. This gives your muscles multiple opportunities throughout the day to respond to that protein signal. But eating more protein alone won't solve the problem. There's an even more important factor that determines whether you build muscle or lose it as you age. Society tells you that muscle growth doesn't work after 40, but research reveals a completely different story. Studies show older men can increase strength by 25 to 33% in just months with proper resistance training, and these gains can be maintained for years. Here's the stark reality of what happens when men accept the inevitable decline myth. They avoid challenging their muscles with progressive resistance training. They go through motions with light weights or focus exclusively on cardio. This approach accelerates muscle loss by failing to provide the stimulus their muscles need to grow and strengthen. But the science proves your muscle building capacity remains robust when properly challenged. Meta-analysis of resistance training in older adults shows significant muscle mass gains, typically 10 to 11% increases in muscle size after just 12 weeks of consistent training. Men aged 65 to 85 respond similarly to younger adults when following progressive programs. What if your 50-year-old body could actually become stronger than your 30-year-old one? When you start serious resistance training after 40, your satellite cells activate and begin repairing and building muscle tissue. Your muscles become more sensitive to protein again. Your insulin sensitivity improves. Your metabolism increases as you add metabolically active muscle tissue. But here's why most men fail to build muscle after 40. It's not biological limitation. It's inadequate programming and insufficient challenge. You need to follow progressive overload principles, gradually increasing weight, reps, and sets over time. Research shows older adults benefit from at least 10 to 12 sets per muscle group weekly, spread over two to three full body sessions. The key is starting conservatively and building systematically. If you're new to resistance training, begin with bodyweight exercises, resistance bands, or light weights. Focus on mastering movement patterns before increasing intensity. Work with the qualified trainer initially, to ensure proper form and progressive programming. Men who start serious resistance training in their 40s can achieve their best physique even by their 50s. This isn't fantasy, it's documented reality for men who commit to consistent progressive training. Your muscles are waiting for you to challenge them properly. When you combine proper resistance training with adequate protein and appropriate cardiovascular exercise, you work with your changing physiology instead of against it. Resistance training amplifies protein utilization, making your nutrition more effective. It preserves muscle mass during fat loss, keeping your metabolism strong. The question isn't whether your body can change after 40, it's whether you're willing to train it properly. The reason you can't lose fat after 40 isn't because your body's broken, it's because you've been using strategies designed for a 25-year-old body on a 45-year-old physiology. Your hormones changed, your muscles became resistant to protein, your stress recovery capacity shifted, but most advice stayed the same. Here's what works for your current biology. You need three pillars working together as an integrated system. Resistance training two to three times per week to preserve muscle and boost metabolism. Focus on progressive overload with proper form, gradually challenging your muscles over time. Secondly, protein, a 1.2 to 1.6 grams per kilo of body weight to overcome anabolic resistance, distributed as 30 to 40 grams per meal. Your muscles need this stronger signal to respond and grow. And thirdly, strategic cardiovascular exercise that matches your stress levels and recovery capacity. This might mean two to three times per week if you're managing stress well, or moderate walks if you're dealing with high life stress. 
Listen to your body and adjust accordingly. Your body is capable of incredible transformation when you respect what it needs at your stage of life. The principles are simple, but they require consistency and patience as your body adapts to this new approach. If this video has been helpful, you want to click this one next. It's handpicked to help you learn more. Click it now and I'll see you there. And thanks for watching.